two. I don't Mark. think Derek is going to try again. Scott. We just finished watching 88 Minutes. Because all we do is watch movies. Mm-hmm. Rock band. Just getting a million fans. A million fans. And they go from pop to... That's all we do. <laughs> so now we have a com- I read comics. Yeah, we're like back. <laughs> <laughs> He's back. Shout out to Wizard of Boz. He's a good kid. That's it. All right, let's this. talk about the movie. All right, so 88 Minutes uh, stars Al Pacino. And... Uh, and Benjamin McKenzie. McKenzie. Well, in, if anybody saw the trailers in the theaters, I mean, this is like a flashback for you, but... Uh, it's a the, couple months ago it came out. No, it was more. It was like, I think like six. Oh, I don't know. Like a few months ago. It was a few months ago. He has his nice bootleg DVD. The I bought it. DVD. I bought it. <laughs> anyway, uh, Ben McKenzie, uh, in the trailer, it seemed like a star in the film. He was uh, talking to Al Pacino on the phone, but that scene was cut out of the movie. Yeah, I thought it was like... His coming out party, the start of coming big. Yeah, that was his, I think, his first movie, movie right? Yeah. Since, uh, I love the OC. I watch it yeah. every day. It's so great. Show. Every day? I watched it originally. I don't watch it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we have nothing else to do. <laughs> We're I have plenty to do, you know. But um, <laughs> overall, how did uh, how do you think the movie was? I thought it was a really good movie. If you've ever yeah. seen a phone booth, it's kind of like that. Kai, we don't know what's gonna happen. He just gets a random call. Pretty much, uh, like he's gonna there, die. There will probably be spoilers in this. Uh, <laughs> what? Well, let's just go through. Uh, main character, character Al Pacino is a. Uh, he's a doctor. I, he's like a. He's a doctor. He's like a lawyer. Lawyer. He's like an investigator, or whatever, and uh, he tries to put away criminals for bad things they do. What he does is he sees the way things are done. Like if a murder is he's uh, if a murder is committed, he's gonna figure out how they did it, which ways it could have been done, and which ways it was done. Uh, he put in prison this guy that supposedly raped and murdered uh, his sister. No, no, that was a different guy. Raped and murdered uh, six other people. Yeah. Now this was the same kind of case where a guy in New York where he used to live uh, murdered his sister, which is really sad. The opening scene is uh, him, his sister flying a kite and saying Jack, which is his name. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. What, what did you think? Everyone says that this movie is terrible, and I They're really blonde. don't see They're it. Blonde. I think we should be the new movie reviewer. I know. I, I really don't see it. It was not that bad. It was a good movie. I would, give it, I would give it like three and a half, four stars. It had a suspense. It was kind of a little scary. It was just fun to watch. Like, we were watching at 3 in the morning. We couldn't fall asleep. We really just wanted to see what was going to happen. Yeah, it was 4.30 now. <laughs> 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock. <laughs> okay. Um, we don't go to sleep. We don't go to sleep. We haven't slept in how many, like, a week? I don't know. I haven't slept in, like, 37 hours. I just had a week. You know? <laughs> um, no, but seriously. What else? Like, I didn't know who the killer was. I'm not going to spoil who the... Uh, I guess, who was trying to kill him. The whole point of the concept of 88 Minutes is that uh, the person that he put in prison has somebody on the outside that's going to try and kill him because he's on the... He's death, death penalty, he's on, yeah. yeah, he's on the going uh, injection or the chair or whatever. And we don't know who the person on the outside is. There's some hints. It's actually not like... We, you wouldn't expect it. We kind of thought, because there was one part that we... Yes. I thought it was two people. Yeah, and it ended up being that we they like showed the other person, and it wasn't her. It was the killer telling her to yeah. do something. I don't know. It totally had the ending had. Yeah. Got. We in the when we saw that one part in the parking lot. We kind of knew. Oh yeah, in the parking lot. Yeah, the, it gave a big hint, and that was like midway through the movie. But uh, in comparison to phone booth, uh, I mean it's the same type of. Uh, Thriller, like if he leaves the phone booth, he dies. Well, what was it? If he leaves the phone booth, he dies. I haven't seen yeah, it in a while. Yeah. But uh, it's the same type of ending in a way where I think Jack Nicholson played uh, the killer. I'm not positive though. And uh, I don't think he did. He died. He didn't. I don't think he did. It was just a random like guy. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, anyway, but the uh, the same type of ending and the same type of plot theme, and I think overall a good movie. What would you give it? Star rating. Out of what? How many stars? Five stars. It's a solid three and a half. I'd say three and a half, too. We give it three, three and a half. half. I don't get why these rotten, rotten Tomatoes, New York Times. What are they doing? Anybody that saw the movie and didn't like it, watch it again. Yeah. This is the Medellin. This is, this is like the new... This is, the, this is our movie. Like, 
No, it's not that good. It's, it's not, not that, that good. good. But it's good. Uh, we're going to go watch a movie. Do you know what we should watch now? Cloverfield? I'd watch uh, Cloverfield. I'd watch Cloverfield yeah, again. I'm excited yeah. for Cloverfield, too. When is that? Three days? Uh, I think 2000, end of 2009 or 2010. We'll see. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this one. Go Giants. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, see you guys. Oh, don't forget to visit overchannel.com. And subscribe. Of course, subscribe. Feel free. We have three spots. I have <laughs>